Hey folks, welcome back to Black and White. Here in Ice Rift City, and we have exploring to do, oh boy. Anyway, you'll find a bit of backstory on the whole legendary Pokemon of the game's business. And the backstory varies very, very slightly depending on your version. Because, uh, you know, the legendary Pokemon varies depending on your version. So you'll have one is about Zekrom, and one's about Reshiram, and one's about ideals, and one's about truth. Uh, in addition, Icericity has a number of differences based on the season, much like Twist Mountain. So as you can see, uh, snow will pile up and grant you access to various items. None of them are particularly important, but they're nice. Uh, they, I believe this is unique in the official games. It's the only town that has wild Pokemon in it. I know that there are hacks with wild Pokemon, but... Yeah, you can you can catch Stunfisk here. Anyway, showing this fight A because it's Stunfisk and uh, B because it's Cindy in action for a few brief seconds. You're finally gonna get to see some Cindy going on in this in this video, and I, I know it's it's been a long time coming. Did some training for Cindy off screen. Anyway, Stunfisk is, I think, I like a. Water or something? I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna look it up. It's 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 a stupid head. Uh, it's a stupid Pokemon for stupid people with, with stupid heads. It's it's ground electric. Okay, because it's, it's like a mud fish thing. It sucks. It's horrible. It's dumb. Like I understand it's based on some retarded fish thing. Why would you base a Pokemon on a retarded fish thing is the question on the table here. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Puddles have, have stupid fish in them. Anyway, windmill. And then, that varies in winter, we have ice physics instead. Uh, no wild Pokemon, just ice physics. And, you can see the snow piles up there. And totally went the wrong way there. Uh, snow piles up and grants you access to a house that you can't get to in any other season. And although it's not a very important house, it's a very cool house, and you'll see why. Now, you probably don't recognize that guy in there, but you've seen him before, most likely. Hmm. Mysterious. Uh, yeah, this is the guy who can't speak English very well, who you run into at the Cerulean Gym in Gold, Silver, Crystal, Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver. And, uh, he gets a happy ending. Hooray for him. Anywho, there's one other place where snow is relevant, but other than that, you just kinda run around and look at stuff. I, I do like how this town kinda blends in to... Uh, the route north of it, Route 8 or something. It's, just, it's not a perfect square. Anyway, there's Zekrom, here's Reshiram. You get backstory, basically, some hero and some legendary Pokémon uh, saved the world or something and created the region. And here in this house, uh, I don't think there's anything really notable in this house, I forget. Just more pseudo-philosophical stuff and, and movies and flavor text. Yeah, there you go. Ideals intermingle, intermingled with truth. It's like the one legendary mixed with the other legendary. And if you can't guess that the legendaries are dragon types based on the fact that it's a dragon spiral tower, uh, good lord. Anyway, Pokemon Fan Club, one in every region. Their usefulness varies. Here it's Sort of okay. Anyway, show this lady someone who's uh, very friendly with you, and you'll get major props. And show this guy someone who's been raised a lot of levels since you first met them. I, I don't know what the exact number is, but as you can see, you know, you might have a decent number of levels there, but apparently not enough. <laughs> But Manfred apparently was enough. Yeah. 
and he'll give you a second experience chair. So, uh, if you're raising two weak Pokémon at once, good for you, uh, but not really too necessary. Anyway, that's the gym. And, uh, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how interesting this town is, because, you know, previous towns, not really so much. Anyway, these people, these are weird people. Aha, why, and some other person. They have the pep quiz. Uh, you sort through a lot of, uh, needlessly long dialogue. Aha, why, and ditto. Yeah. Sort through a lot of dialogue, and, uh... Answer a really stupid question. Go ahead, guess. So yeah, I thought the difficulty here would be in finding the word in this horrible menu system. But I actually got very lucky and uh, clicked the right section for the first for my first click. So yeah, digital is the opposite of analog. And for all that wonderful, wonderful effort and menu stuff, an antidote. Not even an ice heal, considering it's an ice type gym. You know, just an antidote. I guess it's a randomly generated prize, but, yeah. Anywho, you can see there's a route over there. And you head north, in winter, and head up this hill. And, uh, just showing this wild Pokémon because we haven't seen it before and I don't know when we'll see one again. Uh, this is the winter form of Saw's Buck. Uh, evolution of Deerling, normal grass. I think it's pretty cool looking, it's like a reindeer kind of thing. And winter is, of course, the, the season to see reindeer. It, its antlers aren't too impressive right now, unfortunately. Other forms have more impressive antlers. Yeah, go up this cliff in winter and you will get a nugget. Hooray! Sell it for fun and profit. Anywho, gym time. We have the Ice-type gym of Icer City. I wonder how they came up with that. Now, Ice is pretty terrible defensively. It has four weaknesses to rather common types, although Steel isn't incredibly common offensively. Uh, but, yeah. Chances are you have something super effective. Like, yeah. But anyway, tons of, uh, people. There aren't that many ice types in the region, unfortunately. So, you're basically seeing, uh, several cryogonal, a bunch of cub chew, and, uh, a bunch of vanillish. And it's... I don't, I don't know why they chose to make an entire gym with three Pokémon in it. Especially this late in the game. Anyway, there are a number of parallels, uh, with the seventh gym and gym town of our gold soul silver gold silver crystal etc uh, and that a you get it you get a rage candy bar here B it's ice type uh, C the, the gym leader's name is Bryson which is very similar to price it's just very 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 similar anyway showing this fight um, mostly just so you can see Stindy in action before she evolves because uh, yeah, I, I did some training for her off screen, and now she is up to level 40, and she evolves at level 41. And this fight will put her up to level 41, so I'm just showing her the general battle strategy, and also so you can see a candle in action. Flame Burst is the usual uh, offensive move 70 base power, uh, fire move, special. Pretty good move, honestly. I, I believe it's new in this generation, and it's definitely a welcome addition. And I also have Fire Blast on there, just in case of a, of a dangerous situation. Since Flamethrower doesn't come available until much, much later. Anyway, level 41, and uh, let's go for a mirror match here, just for the sake of showing off a new move I gave Edmund. You remember I picked up the TM for Flash Cannon, 
in Twist Mountain, which is actually a lot better than I thought it was. It's an 80 base power special uh, steel move, and that happens to be super effective against ice types. So, there you go. That'll probably be a mainstay, just because it's better than Mirror Shot. It's a little stronger and better accuracy. So if you have somebody with Mirror Shot, upgrade. No reason not to. And that takes care of that. This gym was not difficult. Most things went down in two hits, other than this one really annoying Cryogonal, um, who got like two f instances of free tax. But um, yeah, Cindy is evolving. Pretty boss. You'll, you'll learn to love Cindy if you haven't seen her much, but... And to doodly da To Lampent. And the next evolution actually occurs with Duskstone, so whenever I'm ready with moveset-wise, I'll, I'll evolve her again. Don't know when that'll be. Anyway, Gym Puzzle here is standard ice sliding puzzle, uh, made slightly more creative with uh, the little things that change your direction, but it's nowhere near as frustrating as any ice puzzle in Gold Silver Crystal. I, I miss those, as frustrating as they were. It, it's really easy. Anyway, gym leader here, Bryson, wastes no time. Ta-da! Now, what kind of put me off about Bryson when I first played is that we hadn't met him before, unlike pretty much every other gym leader. So it seemed like he was kind of not as developed, but he'll develop after the fight, so it's okay. Anyway, Bryson, not difficult, uh, at least for me. I, I don't remember him being difficult for my first playthrough, but Lilo uses his return, gets a one shot on most of his Pokemon except one. And then I, I have three different ways to totally eradicate the, uh, this team with the black team. So just flash cannon, destroy things for uh, for vanilla. -ish. Had to go for the mirror match, of course. And you can see mirror shot clearly inferior. Uh, Beartick, the evolution of Cubchoo. Uh, I don't know, Cubchoo has a snot bubble coming out of its nose, but Beartick has like a beard of, of... I don't even want to know. Not too dangerous, goes down in two returns. Only thing that managed to inflict damage on Lilo, so there you go. And there we go, we got some, uh, Veritech fun going down easily with Smackdown. Goes to show, say, say something that, uh, Lilo stabbed a turn did the same amount as a super effective stabbed, uh, Smackdown from Berlanga. I don't know what it says, but it says something. Anyway, uh, Bertrand and Cup 2 like to use Brine in this gym, which does double damage if you're below 50%. I wasn't, and Prolong only takes neutral damage from water type moves, so I don't know if this is the best option or whatever. Anyway, his prize Pokemon is a Cryogonal. And unfortunately, it sucks. Well, I mean, it doesn't suck, but for some reason, it used Aurora Beam instead of Ice Beam, and it does have Ice Beam, so. Yeah, it goes down. And then, let's just show off uh, Cindy's super awesome move that destroys things with relative ease. Fire Blast! I normally don't like to use Fire Blast because it has less than 100 accuracy, but in the lack of presence of a flamethrower, it'll have to do. And that takes care of Bryson. He is not a tough guy, as, as far as I can recall. Just, just have something super effective. I mean, they're all pure ice types. They're not gonna 
pull any punches on you, really. Yay! If you have a level 80 Pokemon, something is wrong at this point. Uh, Frost Breath always scores a critical hit, which means that you'll, uh, you'll bypass any defense modifiers that your opponent has, but it will only do 80 total damage, 80 base power, so it's not as good as Ice Beam. Anyway, uh, hello, my favorite people. How's it going? Man, look at all these philosophical issues that he brings up that totally don't really fit in a Pokemon game at all. Next, we'll be heading to Dragon Spiral Tower. With that takes care of that, and I will see you guys next time.